What is up, everybody? Back with another Top 10, and I am joined once again by Mr. Quest from Metal. Questy, thanks a lot for coming back on here, man. How's it going? No problem. It's going good. Got my coffee, got my Iron Maiden shirt, and we're with Bryce. We're going to have some fucking fun. Hell yeah. We're here to talk about the underrated Iron Maiden songs, not the ones that are always talked about, the big ones I always play in the sets. No, we're going deep here. Top 10 underrated, deep cuts, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, so we're going to jump straight into this with uh, Questy's number 10. All right, we are going deep here today, boys. We're going deep, and today I'm going to kick off with Fear of the Dark, and I'm not going to go with Fear of the Dark. That's stupid. We're going to go with Fear is the Key to What Do You Want to Be? Amazing song, underrated as fuck. Everyone talks about Fear of the Dark. Everyone talks about Be Quick or Be Dead. No one talks about Fear is the Key. I think his singing on that is spooky. It's very cool. The way he sings, Fear is the Key. And it's just it's a very eerie song, very creepy song. And I think it fits with the theme of the album, Fear of the Dark. I think it fits. It's a very creepy song and it fits nicely in the album. And I think it's underrated as shit. So that's my number 10. Very cool. So uh, my number 10, I'm going to go with an album that is hated on by some, some Iron Maiden fans hate on this because this is the one when Adrian Smith left. I'm going to go with the song from this right here. And I'm going to go with uh, The Assassin. I think this is a great song um just the opening is killer just top to bottom i think it's a really cool underrated one there's a lot of great i rank this album pretty high i like a lot of the stuff on here but the assassin has always been one of my favorites so uh it's making the list here at number 10 that's a good pick everyone hates on the album but i actually enjoy every song on it so yeah it's I good, like yeah. good song on it. Mm-hmm. maybe a song will appear later on from it but yes nice. um, my number nine is out of the silent planet out of the silent planet we are ah, ah. so it's from brave new world and it's out of the silent planet if you didn't guess by me repeating it over and over love the melodies on it love the guitar the soothing guitar the solo on it very underrated from that album there's most of the songs from that album are quite underrated as well aside from the wicker man um blood brothers everyone likes aside from you and <laughs> uh, what's the other one? Ghost of the Navigator. Ghost of the Navigator. Those, yeah. yeah, and Wicker Man. Those are like the mainstream ones, but no one talks about the other songs. So I'm going to give some love to Out of the Silent Planet because I think it deserves it. Cool. Um, so with my number nine, I'm going to go to an album, an era that I really don't like overall, but I think the song is great. We're going to Blaze Bailey's era, 1995, The X Factor with the song Lord of the Flies. And so I. Good. Yeah, I've got I've got the album somewhere. Didn't grab it, but uh, this is a great song. Love the uh, opening. I love the chorus. Blaze. This is one of the songs I think he actually sounds pretty good. There's some really nice guitar playing throughout, of course. Uh, you got Yannick, who people hate on, but I think he's a good player. And um, Dave Murray, both freaking uh, shredding it up on the song, and it's just really good from start to finish. So uh, it's my number nine, Lord of the Flies. That was a good pick. Um, yeah. I first heard that song on Death on the Road because that was my first Iron Maiden album. I picked up, which is a live album. Mm. Bruce sings Lord of the Flies. And have you heard Bruce sing it? Yeah, I've I've got that album on CD. It's cool. Bruce sings it so good. But Blaze does a great job as well. I think it's one of Blaze's best moments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, good pick. Um, My number, um, is it eight? Eight, yeah. Yeah. Is No Prayer for the Dying, the title track. And it's just that melody. I think this is one of my favorite Iron Maiden songs. I think it's slept on. Everyone talks about Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter and Tail Gunner and stuff, but I think this song is so goddamn good. It's that melody. If you understand yeah. what I'm humming. <laughs> that is a good one, yeah. Love the melody. I love his singing intertwined, intertwined with the melody. It's so goddamn beautiful. I could play this right now, and I'm going to play this straight after we finish this Zoom call. I'm going to play that fucking song because it deserves to get played more. True. Very good. Cool. So uh, my number eight, I'm going to go to the uh, Fear of the Dark album with uh, Childhood's End. Love this song. I think it's just a freaking epic. The drums sound amazing. Bruce is awesome. Love the vocal melodies and just great stuff. Uh, This is a good album. I think there's some really, really good material on here. And Childhood's End, definitely one of my favorites on the album. So it makes the list here at number eight. Good pick. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought that one as well. That's a, that's a good pick. I need to re-listen to that because I can't remember what it sounds like. It's it's cool. It's good. Yeah. Anyway, um, my next one 
is the gates are the walls of Montsegur. Blood at the stone of the citadel. It's one of the Iron Maiden songs which I keep thinking of in my head when I'm just out about. Like I'm going shopping, I'm driving, and the fucking chorus gets stuck in my head just randomly out of nowhere. That chorus is so goddamn catchy. It's one of the catchiest Maiden choruses, in my opinion. And it just keeps getting stuck in my head. So it has to make it onto this list because I keep thinking about it. It's a song I keep going back to and thinking about. So this has got to make it here. It's, it's just got to, or I'm, or I'm lying to myself. And I don't want to do that. So yeah, oh. Montsegur. Nice. Uh, so my number seven, I'm going to go back to this album here with my favorite song from it, which uh, is Public Enemy number one. Love the opening like guitar melody and that just super catchy, awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, just great song. Love Bruce's vocal. I love the guitar playing all throughout the song. There's some nice shredding going on. Just uh, really awesome stuff. And I really do like this album cover as well. The guy getting like thrown, cool. thrown out the window or whatever that is. But yeah, that's yeah, my choke number. Slam. Choke slam. Freaking Undertaker. <laughs> choke yeah. slams us. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's my number seven. I was kind of ironic because it looks like the Undertaker is being choke slammed on that because he's probably taking care of the graves, isn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's cool. It's cool art. And my next one, I don't know if it's cheating or not because we're going back to the Somewhere in Time album and I'm picking Alexander the Great. And I know a lot of people do love this song, but it's not it's never in anyone's like top 10. I don't hear loads of people screaming about it. Whenever people talk about that album, it's always caught someone in time, wasted years and stranger in a strange land. Alexander the great, I do think is underrated. Um, And it's one of the epics. It's right up there with Rhyme the Inch and Mariner, Dance of Death, Blood Brothers. I'm going to keep saying that until he (laughs) likes it. (laughs) It's up there with the greats. And I, I love it. I love the history theme of it. I love the intro when he's talking about Alex, my son, conquer another kingdom or whatever the fuck they say. Love that part of it. And it's just an overall epic song. One of the best by Iron Maiden. So yeah, Alexander the Great. Love it. Yeah, that is a really, really great song. Um, So my number six, I'm going to go with one. I don't think you like too much. That's going to be Gangland from uh, Number (laughs) of the Beast. I I think the song is great. I love the little... uh, drum intro there and just everything about it's cool i love the chorus from bruce he sounds great guitar playing is awesome I say that about every single song but yeah <laughs> gangland dude love the song so it's on my list at number six i don't hate it i like it but i just like it the least out of everything so that's a good pick because that's you know it's underrated yeah. Yeah. that's a good pick um my next one is the thin line between love and hate from brave new world i love this song is another long one and it's the perfect way to close Brave New World. And I think it's the perfect song for Bruce coming back because it's just such an uplifting song. And at the end, when Nico's like, glad, like I fucking missed him or I fucking missed it, whatever he says, it's just a fun way to close off the album. And it brings a smile to your face whenever Nico says that. And it's like, that doesn't happen a lot in Nine Main songs where they just break character, and just randomly <laughs> say yeah. something. So I like that part of it. And it's just an overall, it's another epic song, and I like the long ones, so, you know, fuck it, sue me. Thin line between love and hate. It's coming here. Sweet. Good pick. So, uh, my number five, I'm going to go with a song from Dan, or not Dance of Death, A Matter of Life and Death. That's going to be Lord of Light. Dude, so that's the second to last song on here, and just super dark. You don't like the song? Dude, super nice, (laughs) dark intro. It's just got a creepy feel to it. Love the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, Bruce sings really good on this one as well, hitting some cool high notes. And so it's like, here's like soaring, majestic voice. And uh, yeah, Lord of Light. Awesome song. My number five. Cool. <laughs> hey, you don't I like Blood Rivers. I, I can, I can. I had that one in my, I ranked that one in my top 20 Maiden songs a while back. Um, I'll need to re-listen to that album because the, there's a lot of songs in that album, which I find a bit boring um but yeah well <laughs> i'll get me lynched by some iron maiden fans but fuck it uh, i still love a lot of the songs on that album and that's still a good song but i just reincarnation benjamin Brig and for the greater good of god and brighter than a thousand suns those just oh, maybe that's that's why we're doing this video yeah to give love to the little ones like you are so that was good that was a good pick 
Uh, my next one is afraid. Afraid to shoot strangers. Yeah, afraid to shoot strangers. It's probably my favorite song from the album. Got to be honest, it's my favorite song from Fear of the Dark. Oh. I heard it live, and when they played it live, I went fucking mental. And I was singing all the fucking words to it. And this big burly guy was next to me. I was like really young when I heard this one. This big burly guy next to me turned and looked at me. And he was singing as well. And he was like, oh, yeah. And he like high five me. And I always remember that because I think he was like giving me some kind of respect because like this little fucking spermy kid, he's, he's singing the words to fucking Afraid to Shoot Strangers, which isn't, isn't like a mainstream song. Yeah. But yeah, I, I love it. I always loved it. It's always been one of my favorite songs. So yeah. Afraid to shoot strangers hits me here. That's uh, that's that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> no, that's nice. That's cool. So uh, my number four, we're at. I'm trying to find the album. I just had it. I'm gonna go with one from Somewhere in Time, which is my favorite Iron Maiden album, and that's gonna be uh, the Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. Dude, freaking <laughs> amazing song. Pretty long. Um, just killer vocals. Amazing guitar melodies throughout the song. Just. Uh, badass stuff so that's number four and one of the best iron maiden songs overall and definitely one that's underrated and should deserve or deserves more attention i think loneliness of the long distance runner number four i love that song i almost put it on my list but i decided to put alexander the great instead i wasn't sure which one but i like them both they're amazing Mm. um my next one has a music video so again this is kind of cheating it's a rainmaker from dance of death I love this fucking. Yeah. I love that that chorus. Yeah, that's good. Tell me we can't stop the rain. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. The chorus gets stuck in my head again, like months ago. Mm-hmm. And the guitar, the guitar is so goddamn majestic. And the solo, and the ding a little little the ding the ding the ding. It is yeah, it's a great song. Oh, orgasmic, and with Dance of Death, I think the mainstream ones are like Dance of Death, Passion Dale, and No More Lies. I think, <laughs> but yeah, Rainmaker did get a video, but I don't think it's as loved as much as some of the others. So yeah, Rainmaker is my my next pick. Nice. So uh, we're at number three. So my number yeah. three is uh, from Fear of the Dark again, and that's going to be Judas Be My Guide. Yeah, dude, love the song again. The guitar playing is freaking majestic. Love the chorus, super catchy. Uh, just amazing song. So not much more to say about it. Just great stuff from Fear of the Dark. Judas Be My Guide, number three. So good, Judas, my guy. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that was really the way awesome. he sings it. Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for shitting a lot of light because I actually like that song, so I don't know why I shot on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, anyway, anyway, my number two, maybe your number two or one, maybe, but um, deja vu. Feel like I've been here before. I feel like I've been here before. Deja Vu is one of the most underrated fucking my main songs in existence. Mm-hmm. The solo is probably the best solo they've done, in my opinion. I love the solo in this song. I love the chorus. I love the verses. Some people say the lyrics are cheesy, and I... Uh, who cares? It's a good song. Fuck up. It is, yeah. Lyrics are great. Bruce sings it with passion, and the guitar's too good. So Deja Vu is my number two. Dude, awesome. Yeah, it's an amazing song. But my number two here is going to be Flash of the Blade from this album here. Um, yeah. Kind of tough to pick a deep cut from this, but I think Flash of the Blade and also Back in the Village is good, which will be in my honorable mentions. But uh, yeah, Flash of the Blade definitely deserves to be a lot bigger. They should play it live. I don't know. Did they ever play it live? I don't, I don't think they've played it a lot. Yeah, they haven't played it in a while if they if they ever did, but they definitely should bring it back to the set. Just super yeah. killer guitar work. Love the opening. Just super freaking badass majestic uh, cool stuff so yeah yeah flash of the blade number two that's a good pick uh i think the duelist is pretty underrated on that album as well the solo in that's great um okay so my number one what i think is the most underrated i made song of all time is from dance of death and it's like a ballad it's journeyman the most underrated i main song of all fucking time no one talks about this probably because it's a ballad but you know, fuck everyone. It's a great ballad. He sings beautifully. It's acoustic. It's so much different to any other Iron Maiden song they've ever done. It's like an outlier. It shouldn't be this beautiful and good, but people say it's boring. But, you know, fuck them. I love it. It's one of my favorite Iron Maiden songs. So, Journeyman, 
Yeah, number one. Awesome. So uh, my number one is the one that you talked about as number two, and that is Deja Vu. Dude, I can do it. Everything you said is uh, 100% true. Just amazing song, majestic. Uh, deserves to be played. It should be played. I don't know what they're thinking not playing that song because yeah. it's amazing. Everything about it is great. And it is my number one underrated Iron Maiden song, and it's in my top five Iron Maiden songs of all time. So just love it. Top or start to finish. Great song. Deja Vu. Number one. Fuck so yeah. Uh, hell yeah, dude. So some uh, honorable mentions, if you've got any. Um, Die With Your Boots On, but I don't know if that counts because yeah, they that. played. Yeah, they played a lot of a decent bit, um, but it is pretty only, underrated. Only the Good Die Young from Seventh Son. Pretty underrated. Mother Russia is really under. I almost put Mother Russia on my list, but I swapped it with No Prayer for the Dying. Um, Hooks in You, I think, is a catchy song. Some people don't like that. Holy Smokes, catchy. Every, yeah, so, everything from uh, No Prayer. Yeah, much. like uh, anything from No Prayer. It's catchy yeah. as hell. From the Blaze era, because I haven't talked about any Blaze songs. Um, Lord of the Flies, like you said, is great. Future Reels, catchy. Uh-huh. Um, Man on the Edge, um, Sign of the Cross. Just, yeah, just anything like that. Yeah, you got any honorable mentions? Cool. So uh, a couple that I wrote down were Mother Russia, like you said. Uh, Back in the Village, as I mentioned before. Oh, yeah. uh, the Alchemist from Final Frontier, I think, is a pretty cool song. Uh, I know I people, think about sh- that. people shit on that album, but I think it's a that, that's a decent album, and that song is uh, quite good. Uh, Face in the Sand, I think that's a really good one Amazing from song. Dance of Death. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. And again, thanks for coming on here. This was uh, really cool. No problem. Yeah, it was good to be back on. Yeah, man. Cool. So, uh, as usual, everybody, let us know what you thought and give us your top 10 underrated Iron Maiden songs in the comments. Until next time, thank you for watching.